Dr. Naomi Perella is the chief medical officer with Zero. They are the world's most popular metabolic health app. She is the medical director of the Rush Center for Weight Loss and Lifestyle Medicine. Welcome to the show, Naomi. Thank you so much. Excited to be here. Yeah, excited to have you on. Tell us a little about your personal life, some more about your work, why you do what you do. Yeah, so my work as a physician, so I'm double board certified as a physician in both family medicine, obesity medicine. Right now, I just work with obesity medicine, and I have seen the power of lifestyle changes firsthand. So uh, one of the fun things I get to do is take care of patients, helping them lose weight, but also work with organizations in helping them achieve their health and well-being goals for their employees. And how are people and organizations doing with that? Yeah, so there's a wide range, right? Um, and there's a lot of different ways people are going about it. So I think at this time, we need it more than ever. And um, so each company does it a little bit different. Why are so many of us overweight? Mm, good question. So many reasons. So number one, uh, most common reason is actually probably the the environment. So the obesogens, which are things that make us gain weight easily, are in the environment everywhere. We might know about those as environmental toxins and pollutants. Um, we also have a lot of uh, different kinds of foods that are ultra processed and cause our body to create hormones and produce more hormones that help the body store fat. So, okay. Obesogens. I don't think I've ever heard that term before. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, this is an area that um, I've just been newly really paying attention to. And uh, because of my interactions with Dr. Robert Lustig, who's a professor emeritus from University of California, San Francisco. And one of the really interesting things that we've learned over time is that the environment that you live in can dramatically impact your weight and your metabolic health, regardless of um, what specifically you're eating. So we know that a lot of chemicals can act like hormones in the body. And the more you're exposed to those, the more they impact your body. And so that's um, what we're finding with various chemicals in the environment. So chemicals in the environment can, once they get into my body, make my body think that they're actually hormones? Yeah, exactly. So we know that... Um, some uh, chemicals can pretend to be steroid hormones, like sex hormones, like estrogen. And that can affect reproductive health. It can affect our mood. It can affect our fertility. And we already know that. But a lot of people were not aware that there's various chemicals that also cause obesity. And they make it easier for your body to gain weight in an unhealthy pattern. What are some examples of these chemicals? And how do we get rid of them immediately? Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> some of the chemicals are actually foods that we eat, right? Okay. So um, they can be uh, different uh, emulsifiers. They can be sugar as a classic example of something that causes the body to stimulate a hormone called insulin. And artificial sweeteners can cause the body to produce insulin even without raising your blood sugars. But insulin is a hormone that tells the body to store fuel and specifically store it as fat. Okay. So the most common ways are I'm spooning sugar into my coffee or it's added sugars. It's all of it. Yeah, pretty much. And, you know, even just in our water, um, even the chemicals that are in the cans that we, you know, might store foods in. And so the food industry has gotten much better at trying to protect us and change the kinds of uh, linings of the cans or the plastics in our bottles. But, you know, we're always learning and sometimes it takes time before we figure it out. <clears throat> so, so many factors that are, that are sort of going against us for lack of a better term. Yeah. Is that, is that the correct way to think about this? Or is that a stupid comment that I just made? No, no. So here's, here's the way. So when I think about weight, I think of it as a manifestation of the balance state 
of the body and the mind. And so a lot of people think of me as a weight loss doctor, but I really am on the journey with somebody to improve their overall health. And weight is a side effect of everything else. And so, you know, you know, I was reading about your, um, you know, the things that you do and, you know, being in finance, weight and health are similar the way I think about it. So I want to help people identify where do they want to go? Right. So in a financial situation, you might have specific numbers you're targeting, or you might not even know, but your goal might be like, I have enough money in retirement. What does that mean? They come to you and they come to your coaches and they find out from you, you know, how do I get there? What's possible for me with the trajectory I'm on? And if I want to change it, help me in that process. And that's exactly the way we should be thinking about weight and health. So weight is a manifestation of this balance of the body. And once you understand that, it's more about getting into a healthy state and tweaking things along the way. And you can flail around and try to figure it out on your own. You can try to manipulate, you know, all these factors. But ultimately, patients come into my office and they say, you know, Dr. P, I've been trying this forever. I've been trying this weight loss journey. Can you just help me? Because it hasn't worked. I might lose weight and then I regain it. And really what, what's going on is there's many ways to be healthy. And it helps to have somebody guide you to that, where you're trying to go as fast as possible. But if you don't exactly know where you're going, that's hard. And so that's sort of the way I think about uh, weight. It's less about the number on the scale. It's about what it represents to you and what it might be representing about the state of your body. And the choices we make can make a dramatic difference. And it's quite fun to see that. But some people just don't know what's possible. And you probably see that in your work as well. 100%. Weight is the manifestation of the balance of the body. I think that that is, I, I, I love that. And so if I'm not sleeping well, if I'm consuming stuff from an informational perspective that's damaging yeah. or, or unhealthy, that's going to have an impact on my weight. Exactly. So we know that somebody who has poor sleep or disrupted sleep whether it's from sleep apnea or because they have somebody they're caregiving for overnight and they might be waking up multiple times, they can gain very gain weight very easily. In addition, if uh, we're eating poorly because we're racing around and we're just getting you know the fast food or whatever that's ultra processed and has all sorts of weird chemicals in it that your body doesn't know what to do with, it's easy to gain weight as well, right? And then again, high stress. So if we're in a situation of very high stress and we don't offer an opportunity to recharge periodically. It's very easy for that weight to settle around the waist as well. So I think it's one of those um, areas where people come in for the weight, but they stay for the longevity and the feeling better. So the choices we make, mm -hmm. I am a, a person who likes to believe that I have <laughs> control over my life and I do try to be thoughtful about all the choices I make. That doesn't mean I make good choices all the time. Absolutely. But I think that that's a really important thing and it translates to weight loss as well as well. Yeah, exactly. So I think one of the fun things about being human is we're super resilient and we can adapt. And so, um, like you said, being in control is what we're all going for, right? We want to control where we're going, what's happening right now. And if you don't know where you're going or you don't know how to get there in the right way, you're going to hit a lot of road blocks that you might not need to hit. Um, and this is where getting support from people who are experts in the area, who've seen many different ways of success can help guide and sort of eliminate a lot of that uh, drama that goes along with going the wrong way and then figuring it out. So um, yeah, it's a lot of fun and it's great to see what's possible. Why don't I just take a pill though instead? <laughs> Well, so there's a lot of people who uh, do that, right? And what do we know about weight loss? The studies consistently show when you stop the pill, or even if you continue the pill or the injection or have had surgery or whatever, if your lifestyle habits have not come in alignment with the state you want your body to be in, it's going to go back. It's going to revert back to that previous state. And so we call that weight regain. But really, it's again, 
an imbalance that reoccurs, right? So I think we can force the body to do all sorts of things for this short term. But then long term, to have wild success long term, got to have like the foundations. And that's where I think a lot of people miss that. So you can get on the 12 week, you know, bandwagon, but what do you do after that? What happens long term? And your body will want to go back to the previous patterns. It's a tricky thing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> do you wish that there was a panacea that you could just take a pill and it would make everything all better? I do. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. If I, I'd love to be out of a job. This would be great. So, um, <laughs> you know, I think that the challenge here is there actually is uh, a lot of information out there that's really fantastic. There's a lot of garbage out there, but there's a lot of really great stuff. The great information out there, if more people got access to it, and then they figured out specific to their health history and their physical state where they're at now, what's possible? What do they need to focus on next? They would have a completely transformed body. And what they could do then moving forward would be so much greater, right? So the challenge is we have this knowledge. People don't know which pieces to pull which are relevant to them and how to apply it. So I think that's the biggest challenge. And you know, I tell people there's three steps. One, figure out where you wanna go. If you don't know where to go or what's possible for you, or you think that it's not possible to feel better, talk to an expert who may have some different ideas and might you know, help you open your mind. Second, make a plan. And the plan should be to get from where you are now to where you want to go. And of course, that's where the expert comes in, right? And you do this all the time with, uh, you know, people in your world as well. And so, you know, when we help people design that plan, it has to be actionable. A lot of people are like, I have the plan, I've been visualizing. Okay, if you don't take action, that's not helpful. And so taking action and having touch points with a coach, a provider, somebody to make sure you're on track, a way of tracking so that you have data to talk about and, and learn from, then now you got the magic, right? Now the success happens. Was the third step in there? The third step is the tracking and having that, you know, person that you could touch base with or a community that you can sort of bounce your, you know, look at your data and say, okay, what can I learn from this? And what do I need to adapt? Am I still on track to get to my goal? And if you're not, then again, the experts, the people who've been there, done that um, can help direct so you don't have to keep going in the wrong direction. Do you think that there's more shame around, there's certainly shame around personal finances and sort of there's so many parallels, which you've been touching on. Yeah. Is there a lot of shame around being overweight as well, or is that less so? Well, I think it depends on the individual. Right. So um, it's if somebody has, for example, type two diabetes or high blood pressure, you can't necessarily tell by looking at them. If somebody has overweight or obesity, you can tell. Mm -hmm. Right. And so it's something you you can't keep private. So for some people that causes tremendous shame and for other people, they're like, OK, with them, they say, this is how I am. Mm -hmm. What? What's most important is how do you feel and how limiting is that for you? We have a lot of places where there's weight bias, which there's no laws against, which is shocking. Um, but that's that's a whole different area, right? But with regards to the individual, I think once we start having compassion with the body's trying to help you heal and thrive. So if it's going in the wrong direction, something's going on that's misdirecting your body to add on the excess weight unnecessarily, right? And so this is when it's really helpful to learn what is it that I'm doing and what can I do different? And again, it's not a discipline problem. It's a hormone problem. This is how I am. I think that that's a very, very natural thing to do. And it makes me sad. It's like when people say, I'm just not very good at money. And yeah. I just, I've resigned yeah. myself to that. And 
but it doesn't need to be that way. Everything that you've been talking about makes so much sense to me. And that we do need help and support because if you go on go online and search for what's a healthy diet, you're going to get a freaking thousand things thrown at you. And what's the best exercise for losing weight? Same thing. And yeah. Should I be doing yeah. this? And oh my goodness, I don't. So I don't do anything and I go and have something to eat because I'm, you right. know, I'm tired and hungry. Yeah, totally. Well, that's exactly it. So, you know, you probably see also um, with personal finances and such, a lot of times people think they have to be 100%. Hmm. Right. Oh, I'm going to stick to my budget forever and never deviate. And I'm going to do exactly what I planned. Same thing with food, right? Oh, I'm going to be on this diet forever. Yeah, no, really, actually, I want you to go and live your life. Right. And so we have to create a system so it's easier to make the choices that benefit you most of the time. Sometimes you're going to have a deviation and that's okay. You got to have a plan for reboot, reset, right? And that's all right. That's normal. So many of my patients, you know, I'll tell them, I, you know, they'll say, I'm not consistent. So that's my problem. And I say, you know, I haven't had one person ever, and I'm taking care of over 10,000 individuals, never had one person that's 100% consistent, right? Life happens. Life throws you a curveball, or you're celebrating, or you're doing something else. Your rhythms are disrupted. Okay. That's how life is. It doesn't mean then for the rest of your life, you're going to be completely off. No. We're trying to shorten the duration of time that we're off track and get back on track as quickly as possible, right? So again, celebrating the wins. So many people just berate themselves and only focus on when they are not on track, even if they're making a lot of great effort. They don't recognize it because maybe they're not tracking. Maybe they don't have a coach. Maybe they don't have somebody who they're touching base with and confirming, am I on the right path or not? So- Tell me about the app. Tell me how that, I, I assume it checks all the boxes we've been, that we've been talking about. At <laughs> yeah, least I hope so. so. Otherwise we yeah. need to go back to the drawing board. George, you know, it's so interesting. <laughs> I've been taking care of thousands of people. We've got clinics all over. We're having a lot of fun taking care of individuals, but there's a long wait list and so many people can't get in. And so it was so wonderful to have this opportunity with Zero, where we have this app that reaches people around the globe. And the purpose of the app is really to help people. It's being that digital coach for the individuals who maybe can't have access to somebody to help them guide their way. So through the app, what we like about it is there's educational content for people who are curious. We want you to be curious about your body so you can understand why you might be doing what you're doing. And then there's two things that are really, really stand out awesome. One is the tracker. So the tracker can help you track the lifestyle behaviors that get your body in balance. You don't have to focus on everything all at once, but you could focus on one or two items. So for example, you might just want to see if you can do a 12-hour fast, and that sets your body to reset at 12 hours, right? So um, it might be overnight. You stop eating at 8 o'clock. You're not going to eat before 8 o'clock, right? That would be a 12-hour fast. You can tag that into your app and that helps you kind of keep track. So over time you can see, oh, am I able to hit that? What are my streaks? And if you're struggling with it, there's a lot of support in that space. So we have lots of information. We have digital coaching. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities to help correct or get better and learn more, more tools and more skills in this space. So that's one of the um, fun things there. The other part that's really fun about it is um, being able to see over time the trends. And the trends are really what we're looking at, right? So even with weight, weight might fluctuate up and down a few pounds on it every day. So, if, you know, I'll have somebody come in and say, yesterday I was half a pound lighter than I am today. I don't know what happened. Hmm. That, that's... It's normal, right? It could be water weight. You might not have had a bowel movement. Like it could be so many things. So, um, but that doesn't tell us um, enough. But if we see over time the trend, that gives us information. And that's one of the really fantastic features that uh, we offer. I love it. <clears throat> and it makes all, it just makes sense. And when you start seeing trends, 
so many virtuous things happen. We become yeah. more confident and enthusiasm and just, I guess the term I was looking for was momentum. So Yes. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. And I think it helps to know that there's a community of people out there who are also trying to get better at their life, right? And um, as we continue to move forward and you track and you see the progress, it becomes easier to learn over time. Okay, yeah, I had this deviation, but look, I got back on. I joined, you know, I reopened the app and now I'm tracking again. I'm seeing the progress. I'm continuing to move forward. And a lot of times people say, you know, I look back at my data from last year and I've really come a long way, or I didn't realize I was doing as well as I thought because I only put, paid attention to the times that I miss. And so uh, that's really fun. And the whole journey should be fun. And that's why it helps to have digital coaching or um, a, a regular coach, right? Um, lots of different ways for us to recommit to ourselves and, and make that positive forward movement. I had one uh, you know, patient come in recently who just said, you know, I know what I'm doing. I'm on track. I feel great. I just need to come in to get a high five and just check in and make sure that I keep this in my forebrain. And I was like, that's exactly it, right? Have that tool, whether it's a person or an app that keeps you in line with your goals and reminds you what you're trying to do. I love it. Well, Naomi, thank you so much for coming on. Where can people learn more about you and where can they check out the app and Zero? So Zero can be found on uh, the, uh, uh, the App Store. So you can download that and it's free. You can also find me, actually, I'm hosting a webinar on Wednesday through Zero, but we have a bunch of uh, live free webinars as well as um, through the website. Please uh, message me and come and find me. I love it. And you can find the, what is the website? Uh, zero longevityscience.com. Perfect. Well, if you enjoyed as much as I did, show Dr. Naomi your appreciation and share today's show with a friend who also appreciates good ideas. Find the Zero app in the App Store and also go to zerolongevityscience.com and check out the webinars and all the great resources and get in touch and Start on that Start on that journey that we've been talking about, figuring out where you want to go, make a plan and track and get the support that you need. Thanks again, Naomi. Thank you so much. Until next time, remember, do your part by doing your best.